I will provide a quick overview on XPath and XQuery. So let's start with XPath. XPath is a language that you can use to navigate an XML document. It is a standard. It is not something propriety of IBM. But it's a standard. It's basically a query language. What we have here on the left is an XML document in serialized representation where each of these are elements. And the first one is the root. And every element has to have a terminator or terminator tag. So it's like HTML but the tags have a different meaning or you can put some meaning to this. Tags and they are basically used to describe information when you have something like this that is inside a tag. So for example, so in this tag that or in a development this string is an attribute so within the tag if you have a string that would be an attribute in this case the attribute has a value of 101 so anything that you see in red are the text nodes which provides values to the tags now the representation which is the serialized representation can also be seen or represented as a tree or also known as a parse hierarchical representation so these two things are exactly the same thing only two representations two different representations and in this case you can think of this representation the way that db2 stores the xml document inside the database in a persistent way xpat is shown here these are some xpat statements and xpat is fairly easy to learn it is very similar to the cd command the change directory command that you use in ms dos windows linux unix right so for example you get cd directory subdirectory subdirectory so basically you are using the cd command to navigate a tree which is hierarchical in nature the same thing with xpat you go for example dev employee name that means you are going to the dev element first or the root then you go to employee, then you go to name, and you will get to this information, which is John Doe. Now, in this case, there are, as you can see, two employees, so you will get both. You will get all the way here to John Doe, and all the way here to Peter Pan. Now, as we will see on the slide, there are different other things you can do with XPath. There are several XPath expressions to choose exactly what you want, so we'll go through some of them very quick so assuming that this is my xml document if i do a tab building building this symbol means that i want the attributes that why it is retrieving 101 because that's the attribute 101 right we want the attribute 101 then the employee attribute id the same thing in this case the attribute will be 901 here and because there are two employees there is also 902 so that's why i am getting both attributes 901 and 902 a dev employee name which is the same example i provided in the previous slide getting as well is the tag the tag name in the ending tag that is just the way it works the tag will be included if you don't want the tags to be included then you can add the of the expat so that you only get the values on this slide using the same example if you use the employee asterisk asterisk is a wildcard and it's element any element but only one in between this you can put it so that is the employee whatever element and get me the text it will go the employee in all of this John Doe 408 for the other example, then there is a similar example, that whatever element and get attribute ID 901 and 902. Here two slashes means that it's not just one element but a number. Elements up to when you reach name. So for example, here is a name, an element above, I don't care what they are, any elements and then get me the text that's Peter Pan John Doe. element between dev and pawn here is dev and here is pawn so any element in between i don't know how many or what they are just just go through that navigation and that's why i get this moving on here you can also use square brackets for example it's like in xql you have a work loss so this is a sort of like a work loss you say dev employee work attribute id take the same 
So, def employee and then where attribute ID is 902. So, this is one does not apply. So, we have to choose the next one which is 902 and from there take the name. That's why it's similar here. But in this case, we have two conditions or two square brackets. So, the first one and the second one. This is similar as well. In this case, we have two slashes. So, employee element and then where office equals 344 or office equals 216 and from there take the attribute id this one is saying when you have a number here it means one the second means if it was one it will be i want the first employee it is also the current context and parent context so it's similar to when you use the change directory command right to the current context or to the parent x square is basically a superset of x but as you can see from is x square and x pot is inside x square so x square is a superset of x pot so x square is used to navigate an xml document it supports type and untyped data when there is no xml value in values just blank and I will give an example of this later on and it returns a sequence of XML data within X query we have something called the FLWO or expression F and with that expression you can do more manipulations FLW or you can think of it as an analogy you know in SQL you have select from where in X query an analogy is that you will have stands for for let where order return this an example where I have an XML document I have this table that I have created created table depth with a relational column then there is my FLW expression I have to always prefix this by X square because if we don't put X square at the beginning then DB2 will assume by default that we are using SQL statement but in this case if you want to run an X query which is a FLW expression as you can see from here FLW then you need to prefix this all by X query and then you go explain these functions in more detail but as basically here I am getting into variable the XML document that is provided here and then let M so I am assigning a new variable called M was the enter xml document employee name and then it says where so here are some conditions ordered by this and then that what i want to return is m please so what exactly will one oh one and then m whatever name was involved so john do and peter pan as well as part of this and close with m please so you can use the flw expression to change the format of your you can make it follow the rules of or the syntax of RSS or Atom. Then you could create a feed out of this XML. 